if you have a user who's saying they're not seeing an app, you basically need to uh, check one main thing, and that is, are they seeing the app at all, or um, is the app showing as unavailable? So if the user's saying, I, I really want to launch um, SaaS, uh, but you know it's not showing up in available or unavailable, um, you know it's not showing up anywhere, that means it's a provisioning issue. So that means that my account, uh, either my account maybe not be, my, my account might not be in the group that's allowed to launch SaaS, or the groups that my account are a part of might not be assigned SaaS as an app. Uh, we do provisioning in groups, uh, in apps anywhere, uh, for using Active Directory groups. Um, I think mostly our, our recommendation is to leave it sort of wide open, but you know, in cases where you have limited licensing, you want to target only the people who actually need the app. Um, so if you ever have someone who says that they, they're not seeing an app, uh, that's what you want to check first is can, can they see the app at all? Um, and then if they can't, you might have to get in contact with the people who manage your apps anywhere instance, um, like as in manage the provisioning. So that might be, I don't know who exactly that would be for you. I know the people who did the packaging course and they're, they're ones who I, I believe will be in charge of uploading apps. Um, and I think that was Chris Lindahl and a few other people. Um, Endpoint engineering is the primary contact for uh, your question. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, if you ever have a user who's not seeing an app at all, that, that'll be who you guys would want to talk to. Um, but if they see an app is unavailable, this means that they're allowed to launch the app, but for some reason, based on the way they validated their uh, apps anywhere just said, okay, there's no way we can deliver this app to you. So in this case, I'll look at Amaya. So you can use the more info to help you out. The first place I checked to see is if any anything was written in the description as to restrictions. Um, in this case, there, it isn't. It's just saying it's a web editor. Uh, so now I'm going to look at the delivery methods. So um, each app can have multiple delivery methods. It doesn't have to just have one. Um, so if I look at the delivery methods, oh, in this case, it does only have one. Um, so I see cloud paging, all right, I'm on a Windows machine, so I should be able to cloud page it fine. But if I look at restrictions, this is telling me why. Uh, so this app has been configured to only be available if you come from a machine joined to the domain and only available to uh, organization owned devices. So there are restriction settings you can set uh, and these are pretty much all of them here. Um, so I'm off the domain and I'm using my own device. So because of that, uh, this Amaya cloud paging uh, package isn't going to be available to me. If I were to validate uh, to a domain join machine uh, on an organization and device, which I guess would have to be that for to be a domain join machine, um, then Amaya would show up for me as as being able to be launchable. Now, can you see that as a user, or is that just an admin seeing that? Uh, yeah, you can see it as a user. So, as okay. a user, you can see the more info, and uh, it gives you know it gives a description of what the delivery method is. So it says this is cloud paging. This is what it does, and then they can see the restrictions on that as well. You can also see operating system compatibility. So, because cloud paging is only on Windows, uh, Windows are the only options that shows up. Um, so, if I came from a Mac. Um, this would show up as unavailable, and these would all be uh, X'd for me uh, because these are the operating systems that uh, were said to, to be supported. So these are your two main things to check if you have a user who's wondering why an app is unavailable. 